For this video I'm going to do a cage tour of Munchkin's cage um, and it will also be an entry for Chantelle's Rabbits um, competition 150 subscriber competition So um, he's in a hamster heaven I think this is the new style because the old style didn't have the green shelf I'm not sure Anyway um, it's got a massive door on the front, which is brilliant, and Munchkin's awake. And it has this house and the greenhouse. Um, a big food bowl that slots into the shelf, this green shelf, um, a little ramp up to the green shelf, and the pink shelf with, I don't know if you can see, that green ramp as well. <laughs> Let me just show you. He's so cute. Hello. Anyway, um, and in his cage he doesn't have a lot because Syrian sized toys can qu be quite difficult to find and he also prefers the running space. Hello. Um, sorry. He's so cute. Um, he has this. Oh, I'll see if I can get it out without getting stuff everywhere. He has this, which is the, um, I think it's the Kali, Kali Wonderland wheel. The, not the biggest, second one down, 18 centimetres I think. Which I've plastic coated but it needs another, um, of that now I've got stuff everywhere but he has that it's wood which is great and it's a nice size um, he's got this little uh, rainbow fiddlesticks bridge thing which is one of his favorites he likes to stand on it when I've got to get him out and look at me till I've opened his cage so I've got crap all over the bed um, he's got this comes with the cage as well. He's got, I've used it as a sand bath, but he also uses it as a toilet. Um, he's got a hammock thing with like a wood climbing frame on top with rope and shoes and a ladder. Um, I think that's all he's got in the bottom at the minute because I only cleaned him out a few days ago. But he's usually got a lot more. What are you doing? Uh, this bit's got a um, yellow ball which I put treats in, sometimes like baby food and things. And then he's got tubes that go up here, round here, to the penthouse which he sleeps in. The only problem with this is it can get a bit, um, what's the word, condensation and stuff can build up. And he also wees in there, so I have to clean it up every um, couple of days because it starts to smell really badly. Oh, and he's got a water bottle with a spring. It didn't come with that because I got this second hand. Well, it was a returns, so I got it a lot cheaper than they're meant to be. I think they're about £100 normally, and I got mine for 30 35 I think. So it had a couple of things missing, like the screws that screw the shelf on so I've just cable tied it on it didn't have a water bottle holder so I bought the um, spring one and what else didn't it have oh yeah it should have handles here but it didn't have those either but I'm not fussed I got it a lot cheaper than it should be <laughs> so that's his cage um, I will put the measurements in the box down here because I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. But it's a good size cage for a Syrian hamster. He used to be in the Peggy Metro when I bought him because the people at Pets at Home told me it was the right size. Let's get him down. Um, they told me it was the right size but it isn't at all. It is for when he's a baby. He's having out time on the bed a little bit. Um, but after that, it's not big enough at all. 
So you got upgraded to this, which is huge. And I remember when it arrived, I thought it was massive. But it's great and he loves it. And I would recommend it if he will have the money to spend. They come up on uh, eBay second hand a lot. So if you're in need of a bigger cage, I'd have a look. Um, so that is his cage and my competition entry. I hope you liked it. What are you doing? And this is Munchkin. He's so cute. Uh, thank you for watching.